guess who's behind schedule again? We had to dress up for volleyball today because we have a home game and it's parent night. See, I like the idea of having to dress up, but I don't like dressing up when it's for school because I don't feel comfortable like wearing a dress. And I know I don't have to wear a dress, but it's supposed to be 80 degrees today and I'm not gonna wear jeans. And I wore a skirt last time, so I'm not wearing a skirt. Um, so I'm wearing a dress, but it'll be fine. And I'm behind schedule because I haven't curled my hair in a minute and I kind of forgot how long it was taking. And I was just watching a YouTube video and I wasn't paying attention to time. But I feel like I'm pretty quick when it comes to like doing my makeup. It's just my hair that takes a while because I feel like I don't do a bunch of makeup. Also, I'm getting through what's happening because you guys know it's like kind of sad because I just heard some like funny stuff and like I knew it was like true all along so I... Like do men not know that girls find out everything? Okay, I need to stop. <laughs> um, but... Oh, I'm hungry. Do you hear my stomach? I don't know what this brush is used for but it's like curved and I use it for my chin because it like fits my chin. I just posted um my shopping video on youtube and definitely go watch it it's a good one i feel like ever since i started posting youtube i've been watching youtube like when i do my hair and i don't want to like scroll on tiktok or something because i feel like i have to be like occupied or else i'll just get bored i'll just watch youtube and i do it when i eat so i'm like an ipad kid i'm gonna go downstairs and my mom's gonna tell me i'm wearing too much makeup but whatever it's already on can't be taken off i don't remember what i was talking about but in ceramics so obviously school just started so at first we had to make these like chain links out of coils oh no this is going empty and now we're making animals out of coils like we're going from that to that like you like i consider myself artistic but i don't know how i'm gonna do that okay we're doing good on time it's just gonna be my lashes that are gonna take a long time Okay, anyways, we gotta spray a lot. This is gonna take a long time to dry. Okay, lashes are done. I'm gonna try to take out my hair before my mom starts the blender because she's making a smoothie. Um, as of right now, I don't like how it looks, but... It always like settles down and changes and then it always ends up looking fine. But we'll do an OOTD. Actually, I can't really do an OOTD because I'm wearing a dress and I don't know where it's from. I think it's from H&M actually, but from my mom's closet. Oh, and the blender started. But that's it. Bye guys. I love you. It's that time again where I straighten my hair. I actually just went through it with the dice and that's why it's so puffy and it actually looks straight because naturally my hair is curly. But now it's time to actually straighten it. I'm always so shocked at how straight the dyeson can get my hair. But whilst I wait for my hair straight now to heat it up, I'm going to spray heat protectant so I don't forget. Because I feel like I always forget and it's so bad for my hair. I really want to get my hair done soon because it's getting quite long and a bit dead. Like I just want an inch or two off. And I also want to get layers, kind of like a curly haircut, but not that dramatic because then you can't straighten your hair. So I don't straighten my hair too often, but still. So yeah, I really just want to get layers and like really short face framing. I got also, I got Grace Abrams tickets. I'm so, so, so happy. It's still quite a while away. It's like basically a year away, but still, I'm so excited. I've already started planning out my outfit and everything. It's hard to tell which pieces I've straightened. And which I haven't. I feel like straightening my hair is always so like therapeutic. Therapeutic? Is that the right word? I think so. Um, But it's just so nice and relaxing until you get to like your second last layer. And then you just dread doing it. But I love filming these little videos whilst I straighten my hair. It makes it so much more fun. I started watching this new TV show the other day. Well, it was quite a while ago. Like a week ago now. But it's so good. It's called Ugly Betty. Oh, I just love it. Kind of gives Devil Wears Prada vibes. Just a worse version, I guess. I love having my hair straightened. Oh, it feels so nice. I haven't had my hair straightened in what feels like so long. I do love my natural hair, but it's just so nice to just have it straightened every once in a while. 
She's trying heatless curls. Actually, heatless blow out, and I think it's going to turn out really good. Hopefully. Hopefully. So when you've got those like, two strands that hurt. Yeah, yeah, and it's like pulling on your head. It's currently on my bottom layer, like this one here. But it took so long to get that like, one right. Oh. You already have a headache. I'm not going to make it any better. I've had a headache all day. It's been awful. Anyway, I was planning on doing heatless, a heatless blowout as well, but I changed my mind because I feel like, I don't know, I just want my hair to be straight. Mm. Apparently, this is like the most easy, like not most easiest, most comfortable one to do. I, ow. I've so tried doing it that way before. You have? Yeah, that's the way that I did it and I was like, it might not be good because you have really long hair. No, no, no. Your way was a hair tie in the middle of your head. Bye. Go. Okay, I'm basically done. It's like two more sections left. Actually, you know what? I can't be bothered. I'm just going to do it in one section, this last part. Okay, my hair is all done. It's straightening. I'm going to put in some argan oil, though, because it feels kind of dry and just, I don't know. Hair is all done, and that's it. I hope you have a great night. Yesterday, I went shopping, and I got all the stuff to celebrate 300k, and I think you guys are going to love it. The box looks so freaking cute. But anyways, yes, we were yesterday at the mall. We ate some sushi. My boyfriend, <laughs> he felt sick the whole night. You know what is it with guys they have to eat like five plates and why do guys eat like there's no tomorrow also as you can see new setup here i asked you guys on my instagram and snapchat stories and i think tiktok as well like what should i do window door or wall i ended up choosing wall because i feel like the background is just more simple and minimalistic which is my kind of style i know some of you might not believe that because my whole room is like overcrowded with stuff and, and pink and all that but honestly i do prefer a minimalistic house home like that a lot of you picked window which means that i should put my vanity over there and i would have to move around a lot of stuff so i thought okay let's just put my vanity here which is just like i just had to do that because my vanity was right here but knowing me how indecisive i am I'm, i know i'm gonna change this like in a month or two also i met one of you guys yesterday at the mall and oh my god you guys have no idea how happy it makes me to meet you guys in person like you're happy to meet me girl i'm happy to meet you and yesterday made me realize that i should probably pay more attention to my surroundings because i have no idea what's happening around me my boyfriend was like all the time you know that girl recognized you you know she recognized you you know she recognized you and like that and like Ooh. He was like, yeah, they walk past you and they go like, I, I didn't know this. Where every time I'm outside in public, I just, I'm in my own world. Because what if someone waves like, hi Josie, and I don't see it. I don't want to miss that. So from now on, I'm going to be like super aware of Okay, my makeup is ready now, so I'm going to go to work. Bye guys. Hey yo, Halloween. <laughs> school okay i had to wake up a little bit earlier than usual today because i kind of have to bro not again anyways my bioma serum always spills i'm literally the issue but i have to go to tutoring for cam today because like i don't know what's going on i think this whole time i've been doing like the wrong concept of whatever we're doing so whatever we're learning i've been doing the wrong thing basically I have picture day tomorrow and I don't know what to wear so I'll probably make a video like I did last year asking you guys to pick out my outfit because I feel like your guys' opinion is more reliable than some people. Also ask my friends but like I'm also gonna make a video. I went dress shopping on Saturday and I went into Altered State and like I saw this really super cute white puffer vest and I was like oh my gosh I'm literally buying that because I thought it was gonna be like 40 50 because I know Altered State like isn't it cheap and stuff so i was just guessing that and it turned out to be 80 dollars. and i was like honestly you could just get that off of sheen at that point because i'm not paying 80 dollars for a puffer vest don't get me wrong it was cute and all but sheen is just better i mean not like the company obviously but like the prices i feel like my curls actually good today they look shiny and tight and i also made a video like on my hair so if you guys want to go check that out you can i don't know if it'll be up by the time i post this but it should be up later today i feel like next week will be a fun week for getting ready because it's hoko week and there's like dress up days i feel like next week i don't want to wear any makeup because 
then my makeup will look good for Hoko, but that's like, I don't know. I hate going to school without makeup just because like people will point it out and it's really annoying. And then people will just be like, oh, I can tell you didn't wear makeup today. Like, what's the point? So that's the main reason why I don't really like not want to wear makeup next week, just because people like to point things out. But it's okay, I guess. I do not want to go to second period today. I swear the teacher hates me for no reason. I've never even done anything to her. And she's always like telling me stuff. I honestly don't know why teachers assign seats. It's really annoying. Like, what's the point? People will tell you, oh, middle school is so much more different than high school. But it's really not. I feel like I get treated the same. Okay, guys, here's what I'm wearing. This is from Gold Hinge. Lulu, Kendra Scott, I forgot, Garage, James Avery. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, get with me to go to the city. Definitely need to hurry up because I'm leaving in 20 minutes and I just never give myself enough time to get ready. I think it's just because, like, I don't account for how long it takes me to pick out an outfit. Like, I spent 20 minutes picking out a black tank top and jeans. Very excited because I desperately need clothes for fall. Um, Because happy October. The fact that it's October right now is literally, like, freaky. Like, like last October was genuinely... Um, one of the worst months of my entire life, like so horrible, which is also why I need to go shopping because all of like my clothes for the season I wore during that time in my life. So they all like hold bad energy or at least to me. And I know that's like weird, but like, I don't care because it's true. Like they genuinely all have the worst vibes and just make me like not feel good. I look, you need to like get my, um, oops. I need to like get my lashes a break from mascara because I've just been wearing way too much recently. And they are suffering, but I'm still gonna wear it. I'm wearing Lash Therapy Australia mascara though because it has lash serum in it and I feel like that's like good. I meant to use this one because I like this one better because you can like move the wand and it's cool. Ew. My lashes look disgusting, guys. Okay. I did heat loose curls last night, but they're just like too much. I'm gonna like run some hair oil through them. Also, ignore the powder. Okay, that actually helped them calm down a tad. They're going back up for now. I'll take them out before I leave. Okay, also I just call my lashes and low-key fix them. Okay, I think we decided on Tower 28 Coconut um, lip gloss for the day. Oh, never mind, I look gross. Okay, I just need a hot pink, so we're using the NYX that lip oil thing. There we go. That's pretty. Okay, and we're ready. Bye, guys. Algebra test today. And I so hopefully, let's just pray to God that I do good. And put it all in God's hands. So get ready for me for school. Okay, I have cheer practice in like less than an hour. I woke up at five so I could do like study and stuff, but then I fell back asleep. I still just have to study like during advisory or something because I don't really know what to do. And then tomorrow I have a science test and I don't know how many questions it has. She said you really have to know how to count atoms and like I'm okay at doing that, so I should be fine. We're doing a candy salad today in yearbook, so that'll probably keep me together and we're doing yams and science i think and then yeah we have this quizzes that we can use to like study for the test there's like 60 questions on it so i think i'll go through that too during advisory i'm honestly good about waking up early i just i'm not good about like staying up you know because my room is so cold and i just want to go back to sleep after you know you know like fall is approaching and like winter and everything but i still need a darker shade in my concealer because i got this like at the very end of may like peak of life like very end of may right after I first tanned in the summer and I was like dude why did I get this because it's way too light but I just kept using it but bro this is not cutting it anymore I'm gonna spray setting spray on my brush I don't know if this works I remember I used to do it but hopefully this works actually my lashes are okay they've seen better days but they're okay I've been doing a new mascara and you know how new mascara is mascara <laughs> oh new mascara it's kind of like clumpy like that's how my mascara is right now okay highlighter of the day I'm choosing Rare Beauty I literally need to go get my brows waxed again because they're already looking horrible. It looked really good like right when school started because I had just gotten them waxed, but like I need to do it again now because they're not looking good. I have to leave for practice in 15 minutes, so I need to hurry. I didn't use Elf. elf <laughs> what? I didn't use Elf Halo Glow, so I won't have to like sweat it off and it, I'm not sweating off as much makeup, you know? I'm not gonna put on a lip gloss before practice, so I'm just gonna use Aquaphor. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. Morning guys, get ready me for the last day of fashion college this week. You need to hurry up a bit today because I woke up very late because I actually could not get out of my bed. Like I was just laying there for like 20 minutes, I could not get out. So yesterday we actually started the course. We started project one, which is 
what like you do a project every five weeks i think it's a bit confusing to get the hang of at first but i feel like i'm gonna like it i was actually so stupid yesterday i forgot to plug in my laptop so it was on like 20 percent charge when i got to college and i had to keep on like re-plugging it in re-plugging it out so i made sure last night i plugged it in also guys i was so annoyed because when i came home from college yesterday all i wanted to do was just get in my bed and watch selling sunset tell me why my tv has literally just removed the netflix app like, it's actually just gone. It's actually so annoying because it hasn't just removed Netflix, it's removed everything apart from Sky. So, like, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. So, I don't know what I meant to watch. I actually hate getting the train into college in the morning because it's in London. It's, like, so busy and I'm just cramped on the train. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of blush on. I've actually got to go. I didn't realise what the time was. Oh, my God, I haven't even put concealer on. Okay, guys, my makeup's all done. I've just got to put on some lip liner and lip gloss. Bye, guys. Hey guys, get ready for school. Can I just say, the lighting is lighting. Like, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, do you know what I mean? So we're gonna get my makeup done quickly while the lighting is still lighting. So I really want clean girl makeup today. I really want autumnal, but clean girl. I'm gonna do my little three step skincare routine today. I feel like it, and then I'll come right back for the makeup. Skincare is done. I don't wanna go for too much of a base. The skin is kinda skinny today. Um, so I'm gonna go for a little bit of this. In semi short time because that's a bit light bridge and a bit lighter in shades. Um, and then I'm going to use my rare beauty as well, just a tiny, 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 tiny bit because it's actually SPF 20. Even though it's like pure winter outside, it's a lot of white SPF. Time for this one. Right, tiny dot, spread that across the whole face. Blending time. Now I'm going to do a little bit of, um, if I can find it, one minute guys. I'm going to use my Lancome Serum Concealer in shade 125W. Blender, I literally can't see to the eyes going closed down. Right, now I'm going to use a little bit of my Pee Louise, the cheap of it, but not in that shade. One minute. Oh. Okay. In the shade, um, carry on to Blender now. Tiny bit of my nose, blur. I'm looking really bronzy, but it's just because of lighting. Because when I go out to this room, I'm into a different light, and I don't look really bronzy. I just want a lot of blush because my powder blush is very pigmented. Um, I don't know if I want to do powder bronze, but just a little bit. I'm just going over whatever's on the brush, to be honest, from yesterday. Um, now for powder blush, I'm going to use my um, WC1 in shades Villa. Viva la Vakai. Okay, so that's blush done, but I'm really looking glabby, so I'm only going to do a little bit of Huda. Um, I don't know what's going on in my voice, but I'm just going to ignore that. Um, we're only going to do a little bit of Huda and cheap palm cake because um, I don't want too much. This camera is honestly giving my makeup so much justice. Like, honestly, if I look this bronzy and this blush in real life, Oh wow, I would literally be living in my best life. Here's their little lip combo. Doll, um, Beauty, Boy Bye, and the Summer Fridays in Cheered Beige Vanilla. I'm going to use a little bit of my Doll, um, Beauty highlighter because it's so pretty. I'm going to use this for my eyelash colours and this for my mascara. And I'm also going to use a little bit of my lash sensation as well. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I've done my mascara. This is the finished makeup look. I'm going to use a little bit of my Tilly Fix It Up Setting Spray. And I'll be done. Bye, I love yous. Good morning. 7.30. Get ready for school. It's also spirit week, so I have to dress up. My hair is looking good. I haven't had this fun of a weekend in so long. It was my birthday weekend, so that's why there's like presents on the ground. My spirit week theme is country versus country club. I want my skin to look extra glowy and bright today, so I'm using my favorite Vino Perfect serum from Caudalie. I've been using this serum for months, and I swear, it's literally just like an instant glow in a bottle. Just like, look at my skin. It literally adds like more glow to my skin. I also love using this Vino Perfect eye cream to brighten my dark circles because I always wake up early when I get ready. I love how more awake I look throughout the school day. I feel like it already did something. I need to leave in like 20 minutes because I woke up kind of late.
Oh my but I already know what I'm gonna wear for my outfit. My school is doing like a spirit war with each grade. Like you get to choose what theme you want to dress up as. And like there's competition throughout the week between each grade. Like ways you can earn points. So whoever wins gets like an ice cream party. This weekend was literally so much fun. Specifically my actual birthday. I can do a haul if you guys want. I asked for specifically like meaningful gifts rather than specific gifts. I love reading like cards and stuff like that. I have like a little brush. We have like a downtown market so we shopped after that. Food was absolutely amazing. I loved it. Definitely like more of a chill birthday party but it was definitely one of my favorites. What made it even better was that my tennis team had a full night. We had like a baking competition. I need this to stay all day because I have practice after school. We all met up at Target and then like we split up into teams so it was my team versus my sister's team. Our baking theme was fall so after we got all the ingredients we went over to my house and then my team made literally a graveyard cake it was the best cake I've ever made in my whole entire life. If you saw my Instagram story, you probably saw it, but it even tasted good. We won overall. My sister's team did like monster. It was actually pretty cute. But let me show you guys my outfit real quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the outfit and I have to go now. But I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye, I love you guys. Hey guys, get ready with me for week two of college. So today I only have one lesson, which is good. And I'm super excited because after college, I'm going to the Transformers screening. Um, so today is the screening and then on Thursday, I'm going to the premiere. Ah! Why is that bit of hair just sticking up? I have been binge watching the new season of Emily in Paris. It's literally my favorite series ever i don't know if this is just me but i'm actually really missing school like college is so different to school and maybe i just need to get used to it but i just miss it I'm now just going to use the Rare Beauty blush and some people keep asking where this is from. It's from Westfield, White City, in Sephora and it was literally by the till, like in the mini section. And now I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk. And now I'm just going to use the Kylie Jenner matte lip gloss in Posy K. Okay, so I'm now ready. I hope everyone has had a great day. Love you all lots. Hey guys, get ready me for the second day of school this week. I'm contemplating on whether I should leave this in for school or not. I don't know. Anyway, hi guys. It's Tuesday. I'm in a great mood this week and I have no idea why, but we're vibing. I got a lot of homework last night, but or yesterday, and I didn't really do a lot of it because I had this like home ec poster thing that i had to do and she gave it to us a week ago and i haven't even started it so i done all that last night so it was due today and anyway so that'll be my grade for september so hopefully it's good but then i have loads of other homework as well that i don't have them classes until like thursday or something but you know Guess we'll just have to do loads tonight because I'm not getting any marks. Just put my moisturiser on, but I need to wash my hair tonight, so then it'll be nice for school tomorrow. And then I also have the event on Thursday, so it will we'll be nice for that as well. I am going to school on Thursday. It's just uh, like a nighttime event, so it's like a party nearly. Kind of thing. No, it is a party. That's what I got invited to, a party. I have a Spanish first, which... Could be worse, so I'm not really complaining about that, but then I have geography. Is it just me when I was smaller? I would always want to be like my elder cousins in school. So I'd always be like, yeah, I have, I do maths first. Then when it hits 11.45, I do English. Like, girl, you're in like second class. What are you all about? I don't know if that was just me that done that, but probably was. Just using a little bit of say because yesterday went a bit overboard and I never really used that much so 
chakra stick. It's a little bit. That pocket sealer doesn't really do anything, but we're just going to talk about that. It is 25 past 7. We're doing very good on time because today I actually woke up with my alarm. Like, I set my alarm for half six like always. And I actually got up. I was so happy. Normally I just turn it off. Sorry, this is just set its way on it. Normally I just turn it off. I go back to sleep because I'm like not bothered to get up because like who is? But today I actually got up and I have so much more time now. So I was very proud of myself because normally I just like lay in bed. And yeah. Oh my god, my school tour is Friday. I don't know if I told you guys this. I think I told you last night's Get Ready Me, but. I'm going to do a tour of Croke Park and then we're going to Liffey Valley um, like the jump zone in Liffey Valley and then we're going to shop in Liffey Valley so that's nice and we can wear our own clothes I don't know how we're not going to get lost because like I know Liffey Valley well but some people in my year might not like we're some of us are going to end up getting lost probably or like how are we not just going to like disappear or like go around on our own like i know we're like capable of that but it's just like i don't know i'm just saying just saying and we only have 45 minutes say if i want to get a mackies say if i want to get mad egg say if i want to get a whole shopping spree in pennies that's gonna take me at least two hours okay i have to leave in 10 minutes so we're doing very good on time um i just need to put my jumper on and put my shoes on and do the rest of my makeup a bit uh, but just mascara, highlighter, and setting spray, and lips. Okay, we're gonna put this on. Hopefully, that sticks it. But I'm gonna use my eyelash curler now. I feel like I've all cold it up. Like, I don't know. Round lash mascara. Okay, what the heck? And lips. We're gonna use my Laneige Lip Chloe Van. Tastes like strawberries. Okay, this video is five minutes long. It's okay though. What's up? It's game day full, so do my hair with me. So today we are playing Ashland. Just kidding. I love my little Tom Kitties. This is not really an important game, so we're not gonna go all out with the hair. I'm just gonna do two braids and a bun. Look at these little dolphin clips. <laughs> Guys, I actually play now, so it doesn't matter how I look. Okay, one is done. Okay, I think like a little trick to braiding your hair is, you know how you have the three pieces? Pull this side under first instead of outside. To where that makes it so much easier when you're going to pick up hair on yourself. You can like divide it easier. So that's definitely a tip for y'all if you struggle braiding your hair. Braiding, 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 braiding. Okay, so I'm going to add another braid right here beside it. <laughs> like um sorry i have to finish my get ready with me <laughs> that man just looked at me like i was crazy yeah i know i am what about it mm -mm. so i'm trying to braid these little tiny freaking hairs on the side of my head all right here's another little kitty braid like look how short these are hashtag fried All right, y'all, the antlers are on. Mm. Ooh. So I waited a little too long to put this bow in and I already pinned down my hair. So we're just gonna, uh, if these scissors work, cut another bow. All right, here's the hair. Can you see it? Does it look good? Mmm. Get another good look. She's kind of eating. Ooh, Izzy! Don't play with her. She's not a binge rider no more. Wish me luck. 99. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Here's my nighttime routine. First, I'm going to dry my hair. Okay, first I spray my way. Like, I douse my hair in this. I'm not being shy. Like, don't be shy. Put some more. Okay, now I'm going to dry my roots with my Hot Tools hair dryer. 
Okay, now I'm gonna put my care sauce oil in it now that it's dry. Okay, at night I don't do that much skincare. I still do some, but I don't do that much. Because I feel like your skin just like needs a break from everything that you like put on your face. I still have no idea what I'm gonna wear to school tomorrow, so I have to pick that out. Yo, well, in case anyone was wondering, I ate down my Spanish today. Okay, I'm done with skincare, and now I'm gonna put on my bonnet. A lot of y'all asked for a bonnet tutorial, so here it is. First, I just like put it on like this. I look so weird, but trust. And then I put my hair up. And like a little bun thing with no hair tie then i just shove it in there and it literally stays all night trust and this is what it should look like okay y'all now i'm brushing my teeth y'all are gonna have to watch tomorrow's get ready with me to see what i'm wearing okay peace y'all hey yo halloween Yesterday was good, and I already know what we're doing today, and, like, I'm not, like, I'm fine with it. Like, I think it'll be another good day, hopefully. But I'm straightening my hair, so here's the before. Okay, my hair's done, so I'm gonna get dressed. You guys getting sick of me wearing this yet? Because me too. Oh, yeah, my rings I left in my car because I took them off yesterday before I did back treatments, and then I never put them back on, so... I have to put them on when I get in the car. But, like I just said, yesterday we did back treatments. Um, those are a lot more boring to give than a facial because it's just a back and there's not, like, a ton of different things. It's mainly just an hour-long massage, but it was nice getting one. And then we also got our makeup kits and, like, a bunch of other kits yesterday. I'm not even really sure what it all was, but we got, like, all of that yesterday and went through it all and all that and then today i think we're starting off with like some notes which we actually haven't done in a long time so i'm fine with that also there's always like a meeting a morning meeting on tuesdays where like the whole class is in there talking so that normally takes up some time in the morning which is good and then after lunch i think we're doing lash and brow tinting which i don't know i kind of want my brows tinted like they already are darker than my hair obviously but like I kind of want them a little bit darker but I also need to wax them then and we're not waxing till tomorrow so I don't really know what to do about that I don't know we'll figure it out but I'm so excited to finally wax tomorrow because in order to wax your hair is supposed to be a grain of rice long mm, mine is not but it'll be fine but no literally everybody's complaining about how much they need to shave their legs and armpits because that was like week and a half ago that she told us we couldn't anymore so i need more of this i need to remind myself maybe on my lunch break today i'll go to sephora and look for everything i need because there's a couple other things but summer friday's lip oil or whatever it's called lip balm never in stock in the sephora you have to order that so i don't know i feel like there's something else though Oh yeah, lip liner, but I don't need a new one. I just need to sharpen the one I have. Um, me and Regan went to the gym last night because anytime we both want to go, or no, anytime one of us wants to go, the other one doesn't or like is busy. So I told her over the weekend, I'm like, starting Monday, we're going to the gym every day at the same time so that neither of us can make excuses and yeah. And like once we're there, it's fine. It's just like actually getting up and going that sucks. But yeah, once you're there and doing it, it like feels good. So we'll see if that sticks. I'm sure that will not happen, but I want to because now that I'm done with high school and sports, this is going to be my only way of getting physical activity. And also I used to go to the gym consistently in like 10th grade and my butt was so much better then. Like I also was younger and like just more in shape from sports, obviously, but still i always feel like i'm making no progress but then like if i look at comparison pictures i can see the difference actually so but yeah i'm not like trying to lose weight i'm not trying to necessarily like gain a ton of muscle i just want to stay in shape and healthy because 
I've been in gymnastics my whole life, so I haven't had to do, like, I haven't had to work out because gymnastics was my workout and it kept me very in shape. But now that that's done forever, I need to actually do something to stay in shape, so yeah. My hair looks like it unstraightened already, so I might have to go over that again. I think I have time though. Actually, I have plenty of time. I think I need a new mascara too. Like, it's not completely empty yet. Actually, no, it's fine. I just know that I've had this exact one for a very long time. I actually remember the day I bought it. And let's just say that was a long time ago. I might have bought it, like, another time. And I almost just threw this away instead of this um, in between there. But I remember buying it a specific day in January. And I think it might have been that one. So it's lasted me a while. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go over my hair. It, like, completely looks terrible now. really quiet but that's it for the makeup i can't believe i used to hate setting spray i literally love it now see look at how dull this is but i don't have a pencil sharpener so i don't know what to do i mean it still works just like not the greatest okay i'm actually not gonna go over my hair because it looks fine it doesn't look good like it actually kind of looks bad actually but I don't really care. It's like mostly straight, so it's fine. So yeah. Okay, today we're gonna do my replica on my neck and then Billy Eilish. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Um, so I have about 30 minutes to get ready and I think today I have release, so that's really fun for me. And then I also have piano lesson and then, oh my gosh, I literally have to like appeal my math test grade today. So there's just a lot going on. Also, a little bit off topic, but I just wanted to say that I listened to you guys and I got a new concealer, um, the yellow concealer allegations. Like, I ordered it online, okay? I did not know that the shade was like that, but then I had to leave for summer camp, like, in a few days, and then I just totally forgot that, like, it wasn't my shade, and then I totally forgot to return it, so then I'm just stuck with that yellow shade, okay? And I was just trying to deal with it, but I totally got duped because... On um on the Too Faced um website thing on Sephora, it literally said that it was supposed to be for neutral tones and I used to be a neutral tone, okay? Until recently. I became like rosy or whatever, but I used to be neutral. And yeah, well I got a new one. My mom actually gave me <clears throat> she actually gave me her um Too Faced concealer and that was really sweet of her because this one is more like rosy toned I guess. And then I just traded concealers with her, but I'm probably going to go, like, get a new concealer for her in the shade, um, whenever I get the chance. Anyways, back to my math test grade. I ended up getting a 78, and I was so convinced that I ate that test up because it was so easy. And I was comparing answers, like, with the people around me after the test, and we all got, like, similar answers, so I'm not sure what I did wrong. But then again, I'm convinced that my teacher was more, like, harsh when grading mine because he actually hates me. But anyways, yesterday we had the club fair, and actually it was pretty successful, and I was worried that it wouldn't be because I'll admit that we didn't get, like, as many people as we did last year. Um, but we still have, like, about 100 members right now, and I'm really proud of us. But, um, surprisingly, the club fair, like, there weren't as many people. Like, it used to be jam-packed last year, and I was just really surprised. But, um, I was really worried about our situation for B lunch because, um, one of our interns, like, the entire leadership team is just split between A and C lunch. So, one of our interns is just her for B lunch. But then, she got her friend help, so I was really proud of them for doing that. But, yeah, I actually asked my teacher my AP Lang teacher if I could go help out like during B lunch and she said no so but yeah I'm not gonna name names but I did hear about this one girl that was like talking um stuff about our club and you know what I sort of expected it but it was so surprising like why are you targeting my club when like you don't even show up to our meetings it has nothing to do with you but yeah I'm still not gonna like I'm going to provide, like, as much context as I can without, like, revealing too much about the situation, but basically, um, last year, 
we were recruiting members, right? So I asked her if she wanted to join, and she was like, yes, oh my gosh. Like, she was asking if we had any, like, officer positions and stuff, and then, like, behind in my back, she's just, like, mad that, um, she thinks that our club doesn't need to be there because, um, her club, like, is, like, similar to ours, even though her club is, like, more of, like, a narrower, like, scope than our club. So she was just going around, like, talking trash about us, and yeah this just got really messy but anyways one of my closest friends is the president of that club like co-presidents with her like right now and then we were thinking about like collaborating right but the thing is that because of what that girl said like last year and i guess even a bit of this year everybody thinks that we're beefing right now and it's just really crazy because we literally want to collab and there's no beef but everyone's asking us during the club fair like if we're beefing with each other and we're like no we want to collaborate but then she goes and she texts like her leadership team group chat she's just like oh um why is everyone asking us if we want to collaborate with that club and then she's just like just not wanting to collaborate with us but i was just like oh but yeah i'm just convinced that she it's not that she doesn't like my club she just doesn't like me as a person because um i've heard her say several other things about me specifically so i think that she's just going for my club because it's like an extension of like me and it's what i do so i don't know what's really going on with that but it's literally not a competition like my friend and i we're on good terms and our clubs are on good terms like we're literally gonna collaborate sometime this year so i don't understand what she's on about but yeah, last Saturday at my workplace, we had our grand opening. So we had our soft opening like um, two weeks ago, but then this was our, like our grand opening. So we opened and it was actually the worst like shift I've ever had because, okay, we had this like 50% off deal and then we also had this raffle um, for like a TV and then like some Stanley Cups. So basically a bunch of people came in and then once they heard about like the 50% thing, they literally started ordering more drinks, like, I'm not even kidding. And then it was just, like, a bunch of kids, like, crying, screaming, throwing tantrums. And then a drink spilled, and nobody told us about it, so we didn't realize until the rush was over, and it probably looked so bad on us. But then, um, there were just so many orders, and then we ran out of, like, boba halfway because we did not make nearly enough, and that was just so nerve-wracking. Also, the customers were not considerate at all because we got two one-star reviews, and they are just like, oh, it took 45 minutes to make my drink. Like, what do you expect whenever there are, like, 500,000 people ahead of you? And, yeah. So, this get ready with me is actually so long because I just have so many things that I want to just say. And, I don't know, it just feels like everything is just bad for me, like, lately. Ever since junior year started, I've become such, like, a pessimist even though i used to be really positive and that's just so weird because like <sighs> uh, and i just have so many things that i like want to be angry about and uh, there's just so much stuff it's like whenever I, something good happens to me i don't even like recognize it as good because i'm already thinking about like the several bad things i have going on in my life it's just it's just a lot like if you've watched my get ready movies ever since the start of this year like junior year you will know that I've never had, like, one completely good day.